Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Doing a little nature dance. Woo. Beautiful day, breathing in the good ass, gorgeous prana. Are you taking everything so personally recently? Why? How to stop making things like personal? It happens, I know. So I've got 10 tricks that are going to help you out. We've got a whole lot to talk about. It's unbelievable. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> That's the question that came in. So I'm going to share with you what helped me along my journey to stop making everything so personal. I get it. Someone didn't respond to an email and now you want to throw them out of the window. Nah, don't do that. Chill. You don't want to chill? Okay, let's dive into it. So a long time ago, I read a book called The Four Agreements, which was great. And the four agreements were, be impeccable with your word. Don't take anything so personally, because it's never personal. <laughs> Don't make assumptions and always do your best by Don Miguel Ruiz. Fantastic. As a deep diver, as someone who helps people become their greatest version. I've got 10 tricks to, to not make it personal. Really. Put, put it down. Before you throw that book at some, just put it down. Okay, let's start with the first trick. You see, the first trick is that it's not always about you. You see, you think everything people do is in response to you because you're so selfish. You're so egotistical. You're so self-centered. That was me, not you. Don't worry about it. Yes, we always feel the whole world revolves around us. Why? So that's why if anybody does something, we think it's because they are going at us when really that's not the case. Okay, so realize this secret. It's not always about you. Like, pipe down. Okay, <laughs> what's the second trick to not make it personal? Every single human being you see is going through something you know nothing about. So be kind always. That's what helped me along my journey. Sometimes I would say things to somebody like, why didn't you call me? Why didn't you pick up the phone? I didn't realize they were going camping. They didn't even have a phone. Goodness gracious. But you're jumping to conclusions. You are jumping to conclusions because you don't even know what people are going through. So that will help you not take it personal. Realize someone might be, they may not even have a phone. They may not even have internet. Okay, that's why they didn't respond to you. <laughs> What's the third secret? Is that I was raised to eat this. I was raised to eat dairy, chicken, eggs, beef, pork. Just like we are raised to think in certain ways, we're also raised to eat in different ways. So before I started the seven day vegan challenge, I would take it personally that, okay, this person is eating like this. No, they don't know any better, right? I stuff strawberries in my mouth because it works for me. But if someone else doesn't do it, if they're not doing the seven day vegan challenge, it's nothing personal. It's just how they were raised. What's the fourth trick to not make it personal, baby? Every single human being is going at their own pace. Sometimes we like to scratch our head and say why like why are they doing this to me because you see every single human being has a different level of awareness consciousness evolution going on to the fifth trick you got to realize this whole universe is built on resonance resonance means returning to sound re going back sonar sonus sound returning back to sound so when you have everybody singing in tune you have a beautiful harmony when they're not singing in tune well it's terrible what the hell are you singing about by the way <laughs> okay so we want the harmony and sometimes we don't get the harmony 
that's why we start taking things personally. But what if I told you that person is not in harmony because they are just on a different frequency? It's not personal. Hey, put down the books. Put it, put it down. You put it down, good. The sixth trick to not make it personal. Chill, chill, hold me back, Ralph. I'm holding you back right now. Like, just chill. You chilled? Okay, let's go for it. Is to stop ascribing intent. We ascribe intent. What is that, Ralph? It is when you think what anybody does is because of you. What they do is because of you. Once again, we make assumptions. Someone didn't come to your party, you think, because, well, they obviously don't like me. No, they had a better party to go to. They got lost. Goodness gracious, you live in the middle of the woods. How the hell, the, how the hell are they going to find you, baby? Okay, so the happiest people in the world are people who never ascribe intent. They say, look, if you don't want to come to my party, well... I can't help you because my party is like amazing. I don't know about you, but we're having a great time. We good, right? <laughs> Number seven is that you see, there is always a deeper reason for someone else's actions. You see, how people treat you has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. When I realized that, it set me free. I said, can I get a hello? Uh, do you know how much suffering is caused? Because we don't realize there's a deeper reason for someone else's behavior. A lot of people start holding grudge contests and matches. They don't speak to someone for seven years and seven months. Goodness gracious, it's a long time, isn't it? People are going through stuff. Trust me, if someone wants to contact you or go to your party, they will. But sometimes it's not about you because they don't go. Maybe they just dealing with their own journey. A lot of people have been through trauma. I'm a psychologist. I know what I'm talking about. I'm a counselor. I'm a deep diver. I'm an infinite being. I'm someone who loves a cat down the road. We know what we're talking about. Okay? People are going through stuff on the planet. There's always a deeper reason. So don't take it personal. Number eight. We are lessons to each other. You see, that's why we were created. Like the universe was like, okay, you're going to be a lesson to that person. And that person's going to be a lesson to you. It's nothing personal. Look at the universe like a university. Mm. No slow motion, though. We are here to learn. So who are we going to learn with? Oh, I get it. Yeah, other people are going to be our teachers and we're going to be their teachers. So we clash into people to learn certain lessons, to discover more about ourselves. They sometimes bring up unresolved issues within ourselves that we've got to take a look at. So in essence, we've got to thank these people for highlighting aspects of ourselves we don't want to take a look at. It's not personal, though. It's just, look at it like this, the universe's way of saying, you have some lessons to learn with this person. It's not personal, though, at all, because you don't even know them. You just met them. Goodness gracious. <laughs> What's number nine? The ninth trick to not make it personal is to realize this. Sometimes, just sometimes, it has everything to do with them this time. I realized along my early journey, for instance, I would be trying to drop knowledge on people like, hey, this is about the third eye and indigos and they were like, what the hell are you talking about? I was talking to the wrong crowd and they weren't listening. <laughs> and it hurt me, man. It hurt me. 
Look, it wasn't personal. Once again, they won on that frequency and that's fine because we started Infinite Waters, baby. And this channel is growing at a phenomenal rate. I don't even know what to do with it. Goodness gracious. We are connecting with amazing, we are connecting with amazing beings daily. So the people who weren't listening, that's fine. We don't even need people right now because the right people will get the message. When the student is ready, the wizard will appear or the cat down the road. It's not that personal. And the 10th trick to not make it personal is to realize this. Life is short. In 200 years, you're going to be out of here. Nobody's even going to remember who you were. Well, actually, they might, depending. Yeah, they'll remember you. You're the one that went skinny dipping in... Whoa, it, got, it went viral, that video. Goodness gracious, they'll definitely remember you. But for the rest of us, no, they won't. Well, they probably will, because you're pretty cool. But in 500 years, people start to forget. In a thousand years, people start to forget. You see, we live in a flash of light. Buddha said the problem is you think you've got time. There is no time to start taking everything so personal. Look, an example is like this. Can you remember what you were doing five years ago on March 13th at 5.22 p.m.? What? No, I don't. Exactly. My point made. Everything is forever changing. So this person who may have offended you, by next week, they will have changed. They would have changed completely just like you would have changed. A year from now, they would have even changed more. They might even be married, have children. Goodness gracious. Be starting the seven day vegan challenge for all I know. Let's just say 50 years from now, they probably won't even look the same. They'll have wrinkles or maybe not because they're eating a lot of acai. Come on. But let's say a hundred years from now, you may not even see them. Where the hell do you go? Right? <laughs> Life is short. We are immortal though. And people are like, Ralph, you got to do a video on reincarnation. Shall I? I I'm going to do it. We'll do it. We'll probably do it this week, actually. We're just having fun. Life is short. It's never as personal as you think. So once again, before you start jumping to conclusions and making assumptions, just realize, chill. Everybody is going to be out of here in the next 300 years. Wow, that's something to think about. Have a beautiful day, baby. Woo, breathing in that good ass prana. I'll leave you with this. If you are someone who is thinking and focusing on people not serving you, why not for a change, focus on people who actually care about you and who are always there? Start taking that personally. Mm. Oh, mm. have a beautiful day. Infinite waters. We're out here, baby. Getting high. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You! <laughs>